All right. too loud uh, maybe a bit I'll turn it down a slight bit all right there we go hello everyone welcome to a video on this channel I'm not sure which channel I'm gonna upload this on which is a weird thing to say but welcome back to whatever channel this is on uh, today we're playing a game that I've found recently called Godhood and I think it's quite a fun game because it's kind of a mix between like a city builder and a kind of a universe sim type game where it's like you're a god obviously the name is godhood but uh you, well, well you'll see from the gameplay i don't really need to go into too much depth about it so i'm just gonna press new game and you guys will see it all right what do, challenge do you seek easy medium hard impossible i'm just gonna go for medium because easy is too easy hard's probably too hard so i'm just gonna go for medium all right <clears throat> And we get to customize our god, goddess, or deity. Um, so what I always like doing is I like putting everything to just zero, so I, or like the new earliest one, so I can just kind of look through what I what I feel like. And right now, I'm kind of feeling like making like just like I don't know, I don't know what am I feeling? Ooh, a Zeus kind of thing, maybe. Is it like a strong body kind of kind of deal? I mean that kind of. And then uh, wings? Are there any wings that would go for this? No. Uh, let's go for like a. Huh. Um. Let's see if there's a Zeus kind of like head. No. Ooh, yeah, that, 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 that. And, uh, where's the hair color one? Wow, that's really bright. Can it not be that bright? Okay, that slight shade of purple. I don't really like that slight shade of purple, though. Okay, whatever. Uh, I guess I'll go for this blinding white. Uh, the body color... Yes, let's also just make it a blinding white. It's some skin tone. I mean, that's a skin tone, but... I'm going for, like, a Zeus kind of vibe. They don't have, like, a... Whatever skin tone Zeus is. I guess that's white. So, I suppose I'll just go for this. Clothing. Let's make... Let's go... Actually, yellow. And then this yellow, obviously, it's a lightning bolt. And then, how should we address you? It's gonna be Zeus. Um, what is your religion called? Lightning Oath. What are your worshippers called? The Truth. <laughs> oh, I guess just Truth. Ah, no. The truth, example text. The truth believe that Zeus is the god that brings us the truth. <laughs> the truth that carries the name Lightning Oath. When do we wake? We awake at dawn. And I'm sure we'll have a yellow background. Let it be known. We are Zeus. We are the Lightning Oath. For as long as there have been people to believe, there have been gods to, be a, to, vie, to vie for their actions. Zeus is one such god. Destined to claim a place in humanity's hearts and minds, a single soul would be chosen by Zeus. Destined to become the first prophet of the Lightning Oath. From nothing, Zeus appeared before Elo. Elo renounced their faith in the old god. I'm going to try to pronounce this name. Que... Quezal... Kotel. And placed it in Zeus instead. First, Zeus taught Elo about what is right. And here is where we decide our play style. We get to decide whether we want to go for war, peace, pleasure, purity, greed, generosity, or madness. I'm not really sure which one to go for, so I'm just going to keep spinning my mouse. 
And I'm going to randomly stop on one, and that's the one we're going to do. Pleasure it is. Mo mostly morale and risky recommended for advanced players. I'm not a really a an advanced player. I have only have a few hours on this game. But I suppose we're going for pleasure. I haven't played this yet, so let's see how this goes. Pleasure. The elders who worship the ancestors thought this idea to be dangerous. This wanton copulation will only lead to terrible disease. They could not see how they were wrong in opposing Zeus. A sacrament was called to determine who was right. A sacrament is basically the battle co thing in this game, but we are destined to lose this one because we cannot win this one. We converted some followers. We got 12 followers. And it's the first of 30 followers wins and they attacked us and they got 48 followers now. So, they beat us. We lost the sacrament against the elders. The elders who were at re resolute in their judgment, Elo and a few followers were banished from the old city. Before leaving, Elo prophesied that one day Zeus would bring their un unrestrained love to the old city. Elo continued to travel a few for days with the exiles. The people were going, growing tired and hopeless. Finally, on a fertile and lush terrace, Zeus spoke again. This shall be Zeus's holy site. A new religion is founded. All right, welcome to the realm of godhood, young god. Your goal is to ascend to the rightful throne and leave behind a religion that will stand the test of time. You will face many religions that adore false gods, convert them by word or sword or grow or, and grow your religion. When you have bested enough religions, you will be able to ascend into eternity. I will ascend and lightning oath will be paramount. In order to ascend, you will raise a strong group of disciples that represent your religion so they may convert heathens in, sac in the sacrament with more followers you can create a lasting religion and best the other religions there are different ways to achieve these goals depending on your tenants choose to be that you choose to be a part of your religion there are many moving parts of godhood don't expect to understand everything immediately take your time to mouse over the ui elements the tooltips blah yada yada all right let's get started shall we so okay these are stat points basically you can choose a ritual to improve certain stat points and our character is a lust priest so they are as you can see by these stars they are good in cunning and charisma or at least that's what their class says they should use and right now our charisma stat is better than our cunning stat so i'm gonna dance to increase our cunning stat <clears throat> now we can bless the ritual or give them dream points dream points are used later on but they're not really essential in the early game so i'm just gonna not use those for now and we're gonna bless the ritual to get them more progress now, uh, I'm gonna just, I already know this. We're getting two more disciples. Word of your re new religion spreads quickly. Rikiri and Jono have heard of your great name. They too want to spread the word of lightning oath. This is the map. On the map, uh, right here, there's gonna be a side boss and then you have to go through a map to the end and you have to beat these guys at the end of your time limit, which is 15, to win the island, basically. I'm not sure what happens when you lose an island, but I can't assume it's great. And uh, this is going to be the first battle. And you can see these are their, I believe, overall stat points, maybe? I'm not actually entirely sure. But as you can see, ours are much higher, so we're not going to have any issues with that first one. And Rikiri, what are you strong in? They are good at cunning, so let's improve their cunning stat. And you are good in charisma, so let's improve your charisma stat. Um, yes, let's bless everyone's rituals again. A holy item. Ella did not come empty-handed to the Holy Land with him. He brought a magnificent relic that holds the power of Zeus. What would this relic be? I will pick my major relic. A Holy Rose or a Anklet of Joy. The Holy Rose gives charisma abilities, have a 33% chance to infatuate the target for two rounds, and we would unlock Weaver and Chieftain. Or if we get the Anklet of Joy, we will get abilities, abilities game plus one evasion scaling, and we will unlock Beast Walker and Songsmith. Since we're going for a charisma-based thing, I think Songsmith is the better class to unlock right away, so I'm gonna choose the Ankle of Joy, and we'll get extra evasive, so that's good. All right, we have to prepare for our mission, and there are elements in this game, so our pleasure, whatever they're called, I forget what already, pleasure priest, I think? is a nature type and as you can see from this wheel uh dark beats nature nature beats divine divine beats whatever the red one is i don't really remember 
red beats the sun one, and then the sun beats darkness, and it's kind of like a circle. Right now, we, they don't have any traits, so we're just probably going to win. And this is how combat works. Oh, I accidentally sped it up. Okay. Well, it's an automatic turn-based combat system, so I'm going to... Basically, we have to try and convert the crowd by doing things. So, let's see. They're righteous flirting. They're flirting with the enemies, and that converted the crowd to wanting to join our religion. And now, we have converted the crowd, and Rakiri has leveled up. Basically meaning we can unlock a class for her. Just like the Lust Priest that we had before. And you are good in cunning. But let's see if there's any other classes that we can potentially use that have cunning that can be useful towards us. And our first unlock for a class is Priest. Guardian could be potentially useful, although we're a charisma based I'm gonna unlock the... No. I'm gonna unlock the Guardian. How good are you as a Guardian? Um, you're as good as all of... You're, you're the same level as all of these. I'm gonna get Songsmith. Why did I get Songsmith? I don't know, even though I just unlocked Guardian. We got a Disciple slot, we got three tribute chests, which are giving us 75, uh, I forget what it's called, and 75 other currency in this game. Uh, what are these called? Offerings. They're called offerings. Rikiri has an ability upgrade. They are a style fear type, so we want to try to give them a fear type uh, trait. But these, none of these have a fear type thing, so as you can see, I'm uh, maybe in editing, I'm going to do it. Put a circle around it, but it says convert by grace. Convert by overpower. Convert by reason. Unfortunately, her style is fear, but we don't have any fear, so I'm just gonna choose one at random, I think. I'm just gonna choose this one. And we can choose our next destination. We're gonna choose this destination. Because it's easier. And we got two new disciples that we can choose from. We can choose one who has good health or good charisma. We are a charisma-based religion so i'm going to choose the charisma one and what this means is that we can perform a miracle what does that mean you're about to let a disciple perform a miracle <clears throat> when you do this you select a stat for the miracle in the future the stat will raise faster for this disciple the disciple will be unavailable for one mission so we can't use them in the next combat once the miracle is performed the disciple will level up it will earn a new ability among generally stronger and sometimes learn passives too besides rituals miracles are the second key to make your disciples grow stronger Time for a miracle. And Rikiri is supposed to be good and cunning and charisma. So let's give her a charisma miracle. And you are good in charisma, so let's have you kiss to work on your charisma. And let's bless everyone's rituals. <clears throat> and this is our little holy sacrament right now. Uh, the first thing I am going to get, I'm going to get a night shrine because it will give us plus one dream points every single time. And I can show you what dream points do before our next mission now. And we're just going to bless everyone's rituals again. And uh, Elo's ritual, first ritual is finished. And now her cunning stat is a lot higher. So let's kiss to get our charisma stat higher. And now that I got that, I can do a new type of uh, blessing where I bless their faith, which will give them plus three permanent faith, which is this stat that you see right here next to the box. But I think I'm going to go for a bless ritual right now. All of their faith stats are quite high. In fact, all of them are over 100 except for these two. All right, so you see this box right here now. Uh, that's what we can do with dream points. So giving, dreaming, give, showing up in their dreams will give them plus 10 faith. And we can give, either give them plus 10 morale armor, plus 10 physical armor, or uh, we can make them dream of death. And they cannot receive the broken faith status, which means if they like get downed in combat, they get this negative modifier called broken faith where they lose faith in you for a bit but i think i'm just gonna give him a painful dream so he's gonna get physical armor and we are going to fight these pagan guardians i'm gonna speed up the combat a little bit this time 
just so we can get it done faster. We're currently winning 21 to 6. Now we're at 37 to 6. 37 to 11 now. All right. We have three turns left. Two turns left now. Hey, handsome, and that convinced the crowd that they should... They, we enticed the crowns to join our religion. And now Jono has unlocked his class. He is strong in charisma. Um, are there any other class? I can't even afford another class. So it doesn't matter. We have to choose one of these classes. Um, I think I should choose at least one might class. But he's weak in that. So I basically got to choose between a lust priest and a songsmith. Well, in this, he gets a 10% HP bonus, so I'm gonna choose another Lust Priest. Oh. And for doing that, we got 84 followers, 50... I've already forgot what this is. Offerings. 50 of the currency, and one special reward, and we'll see what those do in just a second. Unless I'm wrong, and we get it next combat. Nope. Okay. Oh. Uh, our miracle is finished. A herding miracle. Some of the herd had gone missing. Rikiri felt inspired by Zeus and prayed vigorously for the herds to return. Miraculously, the missing part of the flock returned home. I guide you like Rikiri. Guide these animals. And he got a herding miracle. Plus one charisma development. Plus two zero point zero two five development power on all stats. And he got a new ability, which is added right here, which is great. Now we can choose our next destination, which will be the Sacred Bay, where we're going to face the Pagan Rage Prophet. Ancestral is what that's called now, I remember. Not that I remember, I see it. Alright, we're going to have Jono, we're going to give him an ability. He is a Grace style type, so let's see if we have any Grace. That's Grace, and this is Grace Sorcery. This has a minus 30% hit chance, so I'm going to choose this, because this is great chance. All right, and we will have you perform a miracle. You need charisma and cunning. Let's give you a cunning miracle because your cunning is quite weak right now. And as you can see down here, we have this thing called ritual progress. With 100 offerings, which we currently have 125 of, we can boost someone's ritual pro progress by 44%. I'm not gonna use that quite yet because I wanna save my offerings for now, but I think that's quite useful. And now we can adopt our first tenant. So, we can adopt a philosophy, social, or adoration tenant. So, we can either unlock smoking truth leaves, zero commitment, which will, uh, let me just go to one I've already unlocked, which will unlock two potential traditions that you can take over. And I've only done two of these, so I'm going to try to do some I haven't done before. So, I'm going to choose oiled prayer, because that seems like right up. I can only see you when your naked body shines brightly. <clears throat> Alright, and just to go back here, this is one of our traditions. You have adopted pleasure. Gain god action, pick holy relic. So, our other traditions will give us bonuses, and we'll see later on. So, let's just keep blessing everyone's rituals until the mission day comes. All right, we're gonna give Wyvon a plus 10 physical armor, right? And we'll have these go. Also, positioning is important in this game because if you look right here, if I put him directly facing him, he is going, or Kiri is going to get destroyed by this Rage Prophet because Ancestral defeats life. So we wanna try to avoid that. Let's get right into it. I'm going to speed up the combat even more this time. And we got a critical hit, which is good. Wow, we dominated. We enticed that crowd. And Yvonne can unlock a class now. We can't unlock any new classes, so let's see what we what our choices are. Our choices are either Songsmith or Lust Priest. I guess let's get another Songsmith so we don't have three nature types. Oi. We have no variety. That's not very good. Also, I think I forgot to mention these special reward thingies. That's how we unlock new uh, tradition <coughs> slots. Or tenants to unlock new tradition slots. And we got the tribute chests, we unlock free relic, and an HP up. So let's choose our relic. We can either get direct 
Opponent cannot defy 25% damage from all crits and or 10% evasion. I think I'm going to get this direct opponents cannot defy. Well then you made it through the basics. As you can see, there's there's much to master in Godhood here. Are some final steps to keep in mind. Reminder to achieve Godhood, you'll need to raise strong disciples, the same thing they said at the beginning. The key is a strong synergy, efficient rituals, and fitting traditions. Pick traditions that comply that complement your disciples. I'll require some planning th and thinking ahead. Don't be afraid to try things out. Alright. And we have gotten our next item, which will make it so that they cannot defy, meaning they can't, like, block the attack. Oh, and Jono prayed to Zeus, and they finally answered. Zeus acknowledges Jono's devotion and blessed him and his family. Rejoice, for I look after you. Add miracle blessing to the disciples perform miracles. So, there... Cunning development power and charisma. Oh uh, no, their their cunning development power got increased, and all their other stats got slightly increased as well. Well, their development power at least, and he got a new ability, which is great. That means he's stronger in combat or in uh, a sacrament. Now we're gonna go to a poor village, and Yvonne can perform a miracle. You are a songsmith. You are good in cunning and charisma, or at least you need to be. So let's give you a cunning miracle. And let's bless everyone's rituals. We need to be a little bit stronger now. Rikiri thinks oiled flesh looks pretty tasty. Literally. So now if we go to inspect traditions, potentially we could choose adopting cannibalism. Adopting cannibalism will have the following effects. Gain god action. Cannibal meal. Choose a disciple that will enjoy a cannibal meal. They will gain one times might, health, and cunning. And they will lose 10 faith from arrogance. So there are pluses. And there are downsides to being a cannibal. So let's see what the other potential... Oh wait, it says down there already. Can inspire the following traditions. Idol and cannibalism. Well, that's less than... I know what idol does, but I guess when they do the little event, you'll see. Okay, you are a reason-based. Do we have a reason-based power? We do, so we'll choose classical song. All right. Oh wait, and we can apply a relic. Let's give you a relic. And Elo just got plus six Christmas stat, which is great. You know what, let's upgrade your Christmas stat even more. Let's get it to 20. And Rikiri, let's get your Christmas stat up because your Christmas stat sucks. Let's bless everyone's rituals. Jonos is gonna be completed. Perfect, his charisma stat is up. Now let's get his cunning stat up, and let's give him a painful dream so he has more defense. Uh, there we go. I'm trying to balance out the levels, by the way. Is that, that's why you're wondering why I did a little bit of mishmash. And let's go. Let's fight the unguided. We're slowly converting the crowd. What? Uh, one thing I did forget to mention, you can also win by knocking out all the enemies. That's a, a different type of play style, but that's not our our god's play style. Alright, we got 109 new followers, we have two new tribute chests, we got one new special thing, and we got stronger initiates. New initiates will start with plus two to, in all stats and unlock new talents. We got another disciple slot and you can increase matrodom when go doing a detriment every level of matrodom you take will give you more tribute tests but in return your disciples will start out with lower hp and the opponents start with extra cones minor storyteller miracle yvonne told an amazing story of zeus's exploits to some truth some didn't believe his story so yvonne showed them a sign that it stands zeus once touched his ground somewhere impressed by the holy son but not all were convinced <coughs> They do not see my truth yet. Lowers, oh, lowers faith. Adds miracle myth. Okay. <coughs> and now his cunning development power has gone up, and he got a new ability, which is great. And let's go to our next battle. And we can unlock a new disciple. You are good in health, and you are good in knowledge. I think I am going to choose a knowledge-based person and then unlock a new class because we currently only have nature and life classes, which is not very good. All right, uh, I'm going to bless everyone's ritual. 
And we have, oh, Coco is inspired to found the tradition of idols. Zeus will surely be pleased by that. If we get one more special development spark, we can choose our next tenant. All right, Coco, let's actually, let's, uh, what are you good in? Oh, wait. You don't have anything yet. Oh, we can't even boost knowledge, huh? I guess let's get charisma up. Uh, let's bless everyone's rituals. Oh, I was gonna do something. Uh, you need to, I'm gonna, I have enough offerings now where I feel comfortable boosting someone's ritual, so I'm gonna boost Rikiri's ritual and then finish that. And I'm gonna start a new charisma ritual. And there's one thing I did forget to mention. If you look at all of these disciples, they all have one thing in common. They all have a few bars underneath them. Yvonne has one, two, three, four, five. Coco also has five. Jonah has five. Rikiri has five. And Elo has seven. What that means is their stamina bar. They can only fight for so long without taking a break. So, Elo, at two, at two out of seven, I guess it's called Forever in this game. At two out of seven Forever, she'll get fatigued, which will make all of her stats minus 25% effective. So we want to make sure to give our disciples adequate resting period. Alright, let's get your cunning up. And let's give you a dream. And let's... I suppose let's give Elo an, a nice rest. So let's put Coco in. Let's put Yvonne in. And then let's put Jono in. Putting Rikiri in would be a bad idea because that's bad. And we want to let Elo rest. So, let's see how this battle goes. Looks like we're winning. And we have won. We enticed the crowd enough to make them want to join our religion. We converted 108 people. We got three tribute tests, one special reward, and a permanent HP upgrade. And let's choose our next selected destination. Wow, that's going to be a hard battle. What about this one? This one looks slightly easier, so I'm going to choose that one. And we can choose our next tenant. We can choose Worship Cats or Night Prayer. We can choose... Festive debauchers, debauchery, or joyful sermons, or smoking truth, leaves, or zero commitment. I think that I am going to choose worship cats, because why not? Let's worship cats. Elo professes the merits of worshiping cats. I think that's just a fun thing to do. The spirit of the cat is holy, Yvonne. Thinks the truth should communicate with those spirits. We can choose our first tradition. Now that we have three, we can either choose adopting animism. We'll have the following effects. Your nature and life disciples gain plus 20 faith, which we currently only have nature and life disciples. Gain god action. Commune with spirits. Choose a disciple to commune with the spirit. Despite disciple gains. For the next mission, plus 20% on all stats if there is a nature disciple in your team. Plus two forever. And if participating, plus 50% offerings from tribute chests for one mission. Cannibalism, we went over. And idol, gains god action idol. Assign idol. Choose a disciple to become an idol. The idol gains if participating, plus X amount of materials from tribute chests, where X is 50% charisma of the idol. Minus 5 faith from arrogance can learn idol glamour. I think animism is perfect for what we have, because we currently only have uh, nature and life. So I'm going to choose animism. Zeus has communicated with the people. Animism is now officially a tradition of the Lightning Oath. And now, as you see down here, we can use our offerings to bless, to tell someone to commune with the spirits. Um, I think I'm also, yet again, going to boost someone's ritual. So let's have Elo finish up her ritual. And let's get her cunning set up a little more. And then let's just bless everyone's rituals. Oh, Yvonne's doing something. Yvonne spilled the oil and fell in a com compromising position. Oops. Uh-oh, Yvonne. Looks like she's getting the attention of all the guys. All right, let's keep it going. That's our little knight temple here. We can build more temples later on, which are very important, and I'll show you why later on. Um. All right, a 23 stat, so I'm gonna want to get Elo in here so we can actually fight it. And she's super effective. Because nature is weak against divine, which is great for us. Let's put in Coco so we can try to get a a class for them. And let's 
start this battle. Let's see how this goes. Oh, yeah. Look how much damage we just did to them. And we seduced them so much that we enticed the crowd to joining our religion. And Coco has unlocked their class. They suck with all of these, which is why we're going to unlock a new class. They are really strong in knowledge. So let's try to find a knowledge-based class in a field that we don't have. So we can go for knowledge charisma or knowledge devotion or knowledge health. I think we are going to go for a weaver because we are a charisma based society and we don't have a knight yet. So let's get a weaver. And you are going to be a strong weaver. Three stars. Perfect. All right. Confirm class. And they have a miracle now that we can perform on them. Wow. All right. Five tribute chests. We got a lot that time. All right. Jono is now in his prime. What's this? The truth will have built. Uh, the truth have built a hollowed tree to support animism. Joyous. All right. Oh, we can't. Oh wait, we just did the side boss. What am I talking about? Now let's go fight this really strong lady. All right. We can't do knowledge because we don't actually have a ritual that develops knowledge. So for now, we'll give you a charisma miracle. If you're wondering, wait. If you can't develop knowledge, how are you going to develop her? This is where the sitting planning aspect comes important. We can build a temple of knowledge. And what will that do? Well, you'll see in a second. We built that temple of knowledge. Now, over here in our customized rituals, we can have another ritual give you two stats. So what I'm going to do is, where is our charisma stat? I will have all the charisma stats give you knowledge as well as charisma. So, Coco wants to reject the elderly, Yvonne wants to condemn the elderly, and Rikiri wants to punish the elderly. All, what, what's wrong with the elderly, man? All right, I guess we'll reject the elderly because we're really doing this for Coco. All right, so now whenever we do the charisma developing miracle, we will also develop knowledge. So when Coco does this ritual, she will develop charisma and knowledge. Now we can develop knowledge. And you are a sorcery type. We have a sorcery, so great. Let's do that. And let's bless everyone's ritual. Cats are silent and sneaky. Jono thinks Zeus might expect the same from the truth. That has unlocked a potential new tradition of God of Thieves. Gain God action. Steal tribute chests. So let's keep going. Make some rituals. Rank up. We got the D. And let's... I suppose... Let's do this to get your charisma stat up. And you'll also get some knowledge at, while you're at it. All right, Rikiri got her charisma stat up. I say let's get her charisma stat up again, and we can also get her knowledge up to a, to the to 10. So that would be helpful. And we are going to fight a decently strong person. So let's get you to a little bit stronger. Let's ha put you up against them. Let's have Yvonne, and then Rikiri. Actually, let's put Jono. Ah, uh, no. These two are actually stronger. All right. Let's fight. And we're about to win, and we have won. We have persuaded the un We've enticed the unguided to join us, and we have a new miracle charge for Elo. So we could choose to have her do another miracle. Unlock, 75 offerings, 75 currency, and one special point. I believe next, oh, Wondrous Meditation Miracle. <clears throat> you have completed your Charisma Miracle. Perfect. And yep, it is now time for the boss. Only a few of your disciples are more developed. Okay, so we can do a, I think we need to give our people a, a nice resting day. So what I am going to do is I am going to do a repeatable mission. It does lower our happiness, but it does give us more time to develop, and it will give us time to give Elo a Charisma Miracle. So let's bless everyone's rituals. Alright, Yvonne got her cunning up. 
So let's develop. Now let's develop her charisma, and let's bless everyone's rituals. And Coco has finished her first ritual. Perfect. Now Coco is really only gonna need this ritual, kiss and reject the elderly, because she only needs to develop those two stats. So that works perfectly for us. All right. Let's just get you a little bit of more stuff, I guess. And let's just put everyone in. We're stronger than them overall, so it doesn't really matter where we, who we put where. So let's just win this repeatable battle really quickly. And we've already won. That was super easy. We converted the entire crowd. So that gave us a little bit time to just get a little bit stronger. We got a little bit of, not, not much, but we got a little bit. We did get minus two happiness, which is why that's a bad idea to do too much. But now that gave us time for Elo to finish her miracle. And that's her third miracle done. Perfect. Teach a passive. Get risky. Plus 10% critical strike chance or plus 5 argument chance. And plus 5 argument chance or attraction. Allied abilities gain plus charisma scaling for the damage for damage and conversion. Sure. Let's, let's get that. And now we are going, I think it's time to fight the council. What's this? Rikiri had an allergic reaction to the oil. Surely she must be cursed. No! That's unfortunate. Oh yes! I did want to say something, or do something really quickly. There is this. I like getting the gardens. Because what do the gardens do, you might ask? Now, if someone's low on forever, I can give them plus one forever. But only if the miracle point is based on them. And I think... Uh, no, I cannot. Never mind. So I'm just gonna keep blessing miracles until time for the holy sacrament is ready. Let's bless rituals one more time. No one's quite finished, but if we use this, we can... Um, boost Yvonne one more time. Get her upgraded. Let's upgrade her again. And then I'm gonna give Elo a even stronger defense, and we are getting ready now. Oh, that's a bad idea, huh? Okay. Oi. I don't like this, actually. Hold on. If I. Not that. That! There we go. Let's see how this works. about to win and we won <coughs> we have enticed the crowd and we have won against the council <coughs> all right so we've gotten plus six happiness from clearing the island one extra disciple slot are we can get stronger disciples now um, we got a lot of, uh, offerings and currency. And let's continue. Elders defeated. The sacrament has proved your might over the elders' ancestors. The elders, the elders following, fo the elders' followers have been converted. Your disciples pray for your judgment on these, on these heathen elders. Your disciples came together to enjoy each other in the old city, to honor you. Everyone shouted Zeus's name in joy. Even the elders had fun. Even the elders had fun. Pleasure will bring, pleasure will brings holy pleasures to the world. That's a bit, that's a bit grammatically incorrect, but we'll bless those who share the bountiful bodies. First sunstone, the newly converted elders bring you a puzzling offering. We always honored the ancestors with the sunstone. Now we see we were misguided. Prophecies have foretold that the true God would come and assemble six places of the sunstone and bring the world to its final fate. We now see Zeus is that true God. Precisely. Other false gods have claim over the other parts of the sunstone. If they convert to follow Zeus, their sunstone would be ours. With this holy decree, your disciples prepare great boats to travel to newfound shores and spread the lightning of. Each of your disciples have different opinions on where they must travel first. I will show the way. So we have collected our first piece of the sunstone. We have collected one of the six. Main objective, gather all six pieces of the sunstone and rise to absolute godhood. Let's confirm. Let's choose our destined mission. 
And Elo heard stories about an order of paladins sacrificing humans to empower the sun god. Jonah heard about a dead god with very lively adder adorators. Rikiri wants to go there because she heard rumor concerning rumors about cannibalism, and Ella wants to go there because she heard these heretics wor worship two gods at once. As you can see, all of these are one difficulty. It will get harder as we go. So, each section gives a different reward. This gives 10 plus materials, this gives 10 plus offerings, this gives 2 development spark, and this gives 100 materials for the section reward. I think I'm gonna go with this one, because we counter this. We also counter this one really, really well. But I think I'm gonna go for the fifth Sun Island because they are worshiping a dead god. They can't worship a dead god. The fifth Sun Island. We're going to select this as our destined mission and that is where I am going to call it a day. Let's select one more disciple and then uh, let's end this episode. Um, Health and might, not exactly what we need. Cunning, might, charisma, knowledge. I'm going to choose you. And let's get our next tenant. I think I'm going to choose... Hmm, choose one of two. Morning prayer, night prayer, meditation. I think I am going to get... Night prayers. Because why not? At night, Zeus listens to your request. All right, so thank you all for watching today's episode of Godhood. Um, maybe I'll do a part two. Maybe I'll choose another type of religion to follow next time. Tell me in the comments below if you guys want me to continue Zeus. Uh, I might just make one anyways because... Um, anyways, I will save my game after I stop the recording. And uh, it was fun while I was here. All right, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.